हॅलो एव्हरी वन आय एम विद्या पाटील असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मेकॅनिकल इंजिनिअरिंग इन शरद इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग यड्रा टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न इंट्रोडक्शन टू थर्मल इंजिनिअरिंग फॉर द सब्जेक्ट फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ मेकॅनिकल इंजिनिअरिंग इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न द थर्मल इंजिनिअरिंग इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट so in thermal engineering the different uh, terms that is thermodynamic state thermodynamic process thermodynamic system and uh, terms like heat work and internal energy so first we start from thermal engineering so thermal engineering is the sub discipline of mechanical engineering that deals with the movement of heat energy it is important field that studies the transfer of heat energy between two systems surrounding the heat energy into another form of energy so transferring one form of energy into another form of energy so here in this figure you can see there is a two states that is state 1 and state 2 and from state 1 the heat and work is transferred to state 2 so q as shown here the q is the heat transfer and w is the work transfer which is transferred from state 1 to state 2 so e capital e is the internal energy so e2 minus e1 that is internal energy from state 2 uh, minus internal energy of state 1 is equal to heat transfer minus work work transfer so uh, this is the field of engineering which including uh, this which deals with the science and technology of the design building and use of engines engines machines and structures so that's why this is the sub category of the mechanical engineering and it is important field which studies the transfer of heat energy between two systems so uh, if you have a interest in this field it's helpful to learn uh, what me uh, what me doing in thermal engineering and what specialist are available so thermal engineering focuses on the transfer of heat fluid mechanics and heating and cooling systems such as those used in the electric power industry the automobile industry and the heating cooling and ventilation industry so thermal engineers design systems that utilize various thermal sources of generated energy to create chemical mechanical or electrical energy so this is the fundamentals uh, the, that is introduction of the thermal engineering now we see the different terms used in thermal engineering that is first term is the thermodynamic state so thermodynamic state is the unique condition of that system that is called as a thermodynamic state so that state of a system is a condition of the system that at any particular moment which can be identified by the statement of its properties so the state of system system when the system is in thermodynamic equilibrium when system is called as a thermodynamic equilibrium when the therm, uh, system having thermal equilibrium having mechanical equilibrium and having chemical equilibrium that time that system is called as a thermodynamic equilibrium thermal equilibrium means equality in temperatures and mechanical equilibrium means equality in pressure and forces also in chemical equilibrium means equality in chemical potential that means when the system is equality in temperature when the system is equality in pressure and forces and when the system is equality in chemical potential that time that system is called as a thermodynamic equilibrium system so that is that a thermodynamic equilibrium system is the condition of a system at any particular moment which can be identified by the statement of its properties which properties such as pressure volume temperature that is called as a state of a system so each unique condition of that system is called as a thermodynamic state so if we consider any operation in which one or more of the properties of a system that changes that property changes from state one state to another state 
that time that is called as a change of state so if if we taking the example of any finite element system uh, that finite element system if uh, uh, subjected to initial temperature t1 initial pressure p1 and initial density rho1 if we consider this example and when that system change when that system is subjected to some heat transfer that is some heat is provided to that system that time that time there is a change of temperature that is temperature initial temperature t1 and change of temperature t2 so change of pressure that is initial pressure p1 and change of pressure p2 and change of density that is initial density rho1 and change of density rho2 that time that system changes one state to another state when we applied some heat or transfer some heat that time the, that is called as a change of state so in this figure you can see here there are two properties property a and property b and here that are the state 1 and state 2 and here main state 1 property changes in second figure property changes from state state 1 to state 2 that time there is a path generation takes place the dotted line and uh, dot, dots red dots shown here that is the path in which property changes or state changes from state 1 to state 2 here in this example also we can see here this is the cylinder piston assembly is there that is called as a system the cylinder piston assembly is, is a system and here when the cylinder uh, piston is in initial state 1 and final state is 2 so when piston is at initial state that time the, the uh, in pv diagram shown in below you can see here that is pressure volume diagram here initial when system is is in state 1 that is initial state that time pressure p1 is there and when piston moves from state 1 to state 2 that time pressure p2 is there same as it is when piston is at state 1 that time volume v1 is there and when state 2 volume v2 is there so pressure changes from p1 to p2 and volume changes from v1 to v2 that's why p1 is the initial state and p2 is the final state and if we consider v1 is the initial state and v2 is the final state when when this state changes from 1 to 2 there is a series of states between 1 and 2 and when we join this series of state that is called as a path okay so here in this figure shown the initial state final state and path of the state now we see the thermodynamic process so what is called as a thermodynamic process so when the system changes its state from one equilibrium state to another equilibrium state then the path of successive state through which the system has passed is known as the thermodynamic process so in this figure you can see here again system changes from path uh, system state 1 to state uh, state 2 through the path a the path is shown here a and here 2 uh, to 1 there is a path b so this is one thermodynamic cycle why this is called as a thermodynamic cycle because when the processes or process are performed on a system in such a way that the final state is identical with the initial state that's why and that's why this is known as a thermodynamic cycle or this is cyclic process because final state is in, uh, that is final state is identical with the initial state that's why this is cyclic process so in this figure you can see here there is a thermodynamic process that is from 1 a 2 and again 2 b 1 this is the thermodynamic process and thermodynamic cycle is the complete cycle that's why cycle starts from 1 a 2 again 2 b 1 that is starts from 1 and ends again 1 that is this is complete cycle 1 a 2 b and 1 so this is called as a thermodynamic cycle next 
thermodynamic system so thermodynamic system uh, it may be defined as the definite area or space where some thermodynamic process takes place that that is called as a thermodynamic system here in this figure you can see here this is the thermodynamic system why because this system having their own system boundary boundary conditions again uh, again uh, there is a surrounding and this is the universe this is total thermodynamic system a little observation here we see the, that the thermodynamic system has its own boundaries and anything outside the boundaries is called as a surroundings here i show this uh, this is shown in this figure that is boundaries and surroundings so these boundaries may be fixed uh, and these boundaries may be variable also if boundaries are fixed if we take the example of the tank which is enclosed uh, having that tank is, is enclosing a certain mass of compressed gas that compressed gas tank having fixed boundaries but if we take the example of a uh, certain volume of liquid uh, in pipeline that pipeline having the movable boundaries okay so so the system is anything under consideration or it is region upon which the study is focused or concentrated and surrounding is anything external to the system is known as the surroundings and boundaries that are separation between system and surrounding is known as the boundaries so bond these boundaries are rigid flexible and imaginary boundaries also or sometimes these boundaries are fixed and movable boundaries also so this is all about thermodynamic system now we see the different types of thermodynamic systems so thermodynamic systems is classified into three types of system that is closed system open system and isolated system first we start from closed system so in closed system closed system having fixed mass and identities whose boundaries are determined by the space of the matter occupied in it so in closed system there is a uh, in closed system there does not permit any mass transfer across its boundary but it permits the transfer of energy uh, in terms of heat and work in this figure in first figure you can see here there is a in closed system there is a energy in and energy out that means in closed system only energy transfer is taking place not mass transfer is taking place okay or work transfer is taking place but in second figure you can see in open system in open system the mass of working substance that is heat and work crosses the boundaries of the system that's why that is called as a open system so working substance crosses the boundary of system uh, at very uh, if we take the example of compressor at very low pressure and enters the compressor and leave the high pressure that's why that is work crosses the boundaries of the system through the the different driving shafts heat transfer cross the boundary from the cylinder walls that's why in open system permits both mass and energy in terms of heat and work transfer across the boundaries and mass within the system may not be constant that's why this is called as a open system in this figure also you can see there is a energy in energy out mass in and mass out that means energy and mass both are transferred in open system okay and in isolated system uh, the system which is completely uninfluenced by the surrounding that's why this is called as a isolated system so it is a system of fixed mass and no heat or work energy crosses its boundary so isolated system does not have transfer of either mass or energy with the surrounding so the here this that's why this is called as a isolated system there is no energy transfer no mass transfer so uh, an open system with its surroundings is also an example of isolated system so if we take if you want to take the example of uh, open system where mass and energy both are transfer the examples are all mechanical system 
that is turbine compressor pumps boiler these are the example of open system and if we want to take the examples of closed system that time only energy is transfer no mass transfer takes place like piston and cylinder assembly without wall that is the example of closed system also refrigeration cycles these are also closed system example of closed system and in isolated system the hot copy in well in uh, insulated flask and uh, universe is th these are the example of isolated system where no mass transfer takes place no energy transfer takes place here there is one simple example of cup of tea where open system closed system and uh, isolated system shown here where in first cup of tea there is uh, no flask is there that's why heat and mass both are transferred here and in second figure uh, there is a uh, heat transfer takes place no mass transfer is taking place and in third there is a isolated system there is no heat and mass both are not transfer uh, in isolated system okay uh, also in different terms used in thermal engineering that is uh, heat work and internal energy so heat is defined as the energy transfer of mass across the boundaries of a system because of because of the temperature difference between the system and surrounding so heat is usually represented by the capital q that is expressed in joules or kilojoules okay so heat can be transferred in three distinct way that is conduction convection and radiation if the transfer of heat through the solids that time there is a conduction process if the transfer of heat through the fluids by that is by the convection and the radiation is the third where is an electromagnetic wave phenomena in which the energy can be transferred through transparent substances and even through a vacuum that's why these are three types of heat transfer that is conduction convection and radiation all these modes occur across the surface area of the system because of temperature difference between the system and the surroundings so heat is transferred across the boundary from a system at higher temperature to a system at a lower temperature by virtue of temperature difference so the heat flowing into a system is positive and heat flowing out of the system is called as a negative next term that is work work uh, in engineering mechanics work is defined as a product of the force and distance moved in the direction of force so sometimes mathematically it is denoted work done is equal to force into distance that is w is equal to f into x x is the dis distance which is moved in the direction of the force so the unit of work depends upon the unit of force and the distance moved so in si systems uh, the practical unit of work is newton meter and the work uh, of 1 newton meter is known as a joule so in thermodynamics work is defined as according to obert uh, the work is defined as the energy transferred without transfer of mass across a boundary of a system because of intensive property difference other than temperature that exist between the system and surrounding so work work transfer occurs only when it crosses the boundary hence work transfer is the boundary phenomena work is said to be done by system if sole effect on things external to the system can be equated to rising of weight so convection of the uh, work transfer if work done by the system is taking as a positive and if work done on the system is taking as a negative and last term that is internal energy so internal energy it is the energy possessed by a body or a system due to Uh, its molecular arrangement and motion of the molecules and this internal energy is usually represented by a capital u 
so this is all about uh, different concepts used in thermal engineering that is thermodynamic state thermodynamic process then thermodynamic cyclic process path and also different states used uh, the change in state also he, a thermodynamic system open system closed system and isolated system and also the different terms used in thermodynamics are heat work and internal energy so this is all about the uh, introductory part of this thermal engineering thank you